A lot has happened in 2023 in the AI world. A lot of new terms and technologies entered our lives. Here is a quick recap of the most prominent developments that happened in 2023 you should know about before 2024 starts. Let's get started. Language models are a class of probabilistic models explicitly tailored to identify and learn patterns in natural language. They are trained by feeding a model with a large corpus of text and is tasked with predicting the next word in a sentence. Thanks to the exposure to diverse linguistic patterns, the model gains a foundational understanding for natural language and for generating contextually appropriate and coherent text. The name large comes from the size of these models, mainly measured by the number of parameters the model has. We talk more about LLMs in this video. Generative AI is a subset of AI focused on creating new original content autonomously. It employs various algorithms and models to generate data such as images, text or audio that closely resembles human created content. Two commonly used generative models are generative adversarial networks and autoregressive models. You can take a look at our video about generative AI to get a comprehensive understanding. A context window refers to the contextual information that the model uses to understand and generate coherent language. The context window of a model plays a significant role in shaping the contextual awareness, contributing to its overall performance in tasks like text completion, summarization, and content generation. Larger context windows enable models to have a broader understanding of the context, but cause computational challenges. Assembly AI's Lemur can handle up to 10 hours worth of audio as context. You can watch this video to learn more about Lemur or go to the playground to try it out. Multimodality is the ability of an AI model to work with different types or modalities of data, like text, audio, and images. Multimodality is what allows a model like GPT-4 to write code given a diagram and models like DALI-2 to generate an image given a description. Take a look at this video made by Ryan to learn more about multimodality. Automatic speech recognition or ASR is the use of machine learning or artificial intelligence technology to process human speech into readable text. It is used for real-time captions on TikTok and Instagram, for podcast transcription on Spotify and much more. Audio intelligence is taking this a step further and analyzing audio files in many angles, including speaker detection, sentiment analysis, summarization, and more. You can watch this video to explore the ASR and audio intelligence capabilities provided by Assembly AI. Vector databases are databases specifically designed to store and retrieve vector representations of data. Vectors are numerical representations of words, phrases, or documents that capture semantic relationships and contextual information. These databases enable efficient storage and retrieval of these vector embeddings, helping in tasks like similarity search, recommendation systems, and information retrieval, especially for large language models. There are many vector databases out there, some of which are Pinecone, VV8, Chroma, Redis, and more. Watch Patrick's video on vector databases to understand how they work and why they are useful. Retrieval augmented generation is a technique to increase the relevance and transparency of large language model responses. This approach leverages the strengths of retrieval systems in accessing factual and specific knowledge and combines it with creative and contextual understanding capabilities of generative models. Take a look at Ryan's video here to learn how to use RAG on audio files. AI agents are specialized software entities designed to autonomously execute specific tasks. These agents can range from simple rule-based systems to more complex entities that leverage machine learning techniques. AI agents are characterized by their ability to perceive their surroundings, analyze information, and take actions to achieve specific goals. They can operate in diverse domains such as gaming, robotics, customer service, and virtual assistants, adapting their behavior over time through learning and optimization. Take a look at this video to learn how to make collaborative AI agents that can complete tasks together. Prompt engineering involves the strategic design and formulation of input queries or instructions given to generative AI models. The goal is to get specific, accurate, and contextually relevant responses from the model by framing the input in a way that influences its understanding and generation. If you'd like to get better at prompt engineering, you can watch this video. Transfer learning is a machine learning paradigm where a model trained on one task is repurposed or fine-tuned for a different but related task. 
Instead of training a model from scratch for each specific task, transfer learning leverages knowledge gained from previous tasks to expedite and improve the learning process. In NLP, for example, pre-trained language models like BERT or GPT are often fine-tuned for specific tasks like sentiment analysis or named entity recognition. You can watch this video to learn more about transfer learning. We have surely come a long way in 2023 in the AI world, and chances are we're going to go even further in 2024. If you want to keep up to date with the latest developments in AI, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're looking to build something new today, you can go take a look at our video where Smitha explains to you how to build a chatbot that you can have a spoken conversation with. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.